Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to speak with you in these special circumstances. I sit here in my schoolroom with the board behind me, and next to me is a girlfriend who will help me if I don't find the English word for the thing I want. I have to say. For me, after 40 years of agriculture and responsible person for studying an organic agriculture who has the wish for harmony between nature and the human being, this is the big question. And the big question is, I think this is not only a thing of knowledge, it is a thing of relation. And we try in four years of education and studying, we try to offer different ways of relationship to the soil, to plants, to animals, to the human beings to work on your farm and to yourself. And this is a net of relationship. And this net of relationship is to lead this and to gestalt and was heißt gestalt? Okay. To create this net of relationship, this is an art process and not only an economic or ecologic or technical scientist process. And for to show you this, I want to make you just on my board, I want to show you some basics. When you, today, I make it now that you can see it, if you today you are a farmer, one of the first thing you do in your life when you are a farmer, you buy a tractor. You can see this line here, okay? Perfect. You can see it? Yes. Okay. You buy a tractor, and you are somewhere in Sweden. You are somewhere in Chile. You're somewhere in Switzerland and you're somewhere in, in, the, in the USA or, or well, what else, and you buy a tractor. And if you buy this tractor, you get a book how to, how to work with this tractor. And this book is written in all languages of the world. And perhaps on page 60, you find the German version, the Swiss German version you don't find, but you turn to, the, sweet, the, the German version where you have to put the key inside uh, the hole of your tractor that it starts. So you feel that this tractor is not only a product of the local economic, it's a product of a global economic. This was 200 years ago, it was not like that. In Switzerland, we had about 15 different tractor factories and they start to fashion because it was cheaper to, for example, to make the engine together, to make the rules together, to make so. And then the end, they just make an etiquette for their mark, their mark, but, and then the end, they eat each other and they have a, a, a more cheaper tractor. And so we have, today we have perhaps five or seven big tractor factories and they even, they make things together. So that means in whole the world, you have the same tractor. You see here, one tractor, one tractor, one tractor. You have to save in the whole world. Second, these farms, I speak from them, I say these are diary farms. And in the diary farms, I think uh, usually worldwide commitment is to have a diary farm, you have, you have 120 cows. So this is a good number of to have. And these cows, they need a stable. And this stable in the whole world is the same because it is built. Because the problem to have cows and to take the food inside and take the shit outside, 
This is the solution we have, the best solution we have. And you can take it from internet in Chile, in Sweden, in Switzerland, in, in, in Brazil. And in Brazil, you make it with other materials than in Sweden because it's more cold. But the problem, the problem is down. You understand? You have in the same, in the, in the same stables, in the same world, on all the countries. It was not like this 200 years ago. Because in Switzerland, for example, we have a, a little valley, it's called Emmental. They have cows, they are brown, white, gefleckt, also with, with, with points, you know. And on, on, on the neighbor valley, it is only one meter, a little river between these two valleys. In the neighbor valley, you have brown cows. And in this, in this it is Entlebuch, and in this, Emmental, you have houses who go who have their roof until the so, uh, until the floor, and in Entlebuch you have other houses li like crystals more, and in the in Emmental the people are Evangelisch Reformation religion, and in Entlebuch they are Catholics, and. And they have a different agriculture and they have the same problem they had for hundreds of years, five cows, some, um, uh, a, a place for the hay, a house for the children, a stable for five cows, a garden. They make a different agriculture solution, a different architecture solution. So this is gone now. And we have now in all the world, the same stables. And in the stables, you have cows. So you must think about how much, I, I want to tell you something. It is when you put all the vibrates of the world who live on land, all the vibrates, all the mouses, all the elephants, all the giraffes, all the cows, all the chicken, you put on a big mountain, and you weighed this mountain, it's a lot of tons, also to human beings, huh? a lot of tons. And then you separate them in wild animal, in wild animal, and in domesticated beings. So there is how much percent is the mountain from the wild animals to the mountain from the domesticated animals? Or in another say, how much person is the living mass with a soul, with eyes, with a life, with emotion, who is under the hand of the civilization? And how much of this mass is still in a while in the in the in the in the lead, in the song of life and wilderness. And you will be very astonished that the wild animal, the weight of the wild animal is 3.6%. So in 69.4%, the human being says, what is your life? How much place you have for life? How long is your life? What do you eat? With whom you have sex? Um, um, and so on, you know? So we have the responsible for the animals. And half of these animals are cows, more or less, in the weight. And half of these cows are dairy cows. And half of these dairy cows are Holstein Friesian cows in the world. And half of the Holstein Friesian cows is genetic the same. So that means you have more genetic equal cows weight in the world than wild animals weed at all the elephants and giraffes and mouses and birds together. So that means in the other picture, in all the farms with the same tractor, with the same stables, with the same, you have the same cows. You have the same cows worldwide. So what eat they cows? What eat these cows? These cows eat more or less mice, corn. 
huh? mice. And you know how much breeding station we have for mice? It's now three. We have three companies who control the mice in the world. That means the same plants grows on the fields from the same stables, from the same cows, from the same tractors. And this agriculture makes the milk seed. This is the milk seed, the worldwide milk seed. And all the companies who need milk, for ex they go and buy in the milk seed milk. For example, the company Mars, and they make a Mars stick chocolate with milk. And you can go in every shop in the world, on every airport in the world, you can buy Mars. And you're not interested where this milk is coming from because it's Mars, it's space, it's from cosmos, the milk. The milk sea is something magic. It's something that's nothing to do with the soil. It's nothing to do with the place. That's nothing to do. It is Mars. It is a product. It's art. It's magic. So I ask you now, what is the th wrong thinking behind this model? Because this model makes a landscape makes a landscape. And what is the problem? Because in, in, a, in a rich countries, we can pay some diversities between the farms and so on, but it's the same model. So what is the acupuncture point? Where is it is wrong in this model? And because you sit not here, I cannot ask you, but I say to you, it is not like that. The problem is the world is not flat. And the agriculture, a agriculture who goes more and more to this point that you make the same system on every place in the world has nothing to search on the world. Because the, the world is, since 400 years lately, it's not a plate. The world is a ball. It's a chukla. It's a ball. It's a beautiful ball. And this ball has a rhythmic, and because it is a ball, because it's a ball, and this ball is a little bit unregelmäßig, a little bit uneven, eh? a bit, a little uneven. And this uneven makes, also because it's a ball, that on every point of the world, you have an individual tangent point. You understand? And this tangent point is the relation between this ball with the sun is his most important energy point, who makes the whole drawing, who starts to, and, and is the most, I think is the leading, the leading voice in the in the sound we heard, huh? you heard this beautiful Marcus, and uh, and so that means that means when you think like that, when you think like that, every agriculture farm is individual. It's the individual interpretation of the relation between your place to the sound. And this is individual. So we don't have an agriculture where it's all the same. And we need a lot of sprays to make it all the same because the soil, the soil, the soil said, oh, dear farmer, I would like to have mice only all six years or all five years. And then the farmer don't listen, they don't listen. And then the mice makes, the soil makes problems, makes problems. And, the, and instead of listening, the, the farmer said the same, like the old middle-aged emperor, 
he shoot the bringer of the bad news. So he shoot it. He makes psh, shut up. He makes you 12 meters. Psh, go over the fields. Psh, still, I want to have silence. I want to have this agriculture here. So this is not agriculture. This is agribusiness. So agriculture is a culture. And agriculture is the art, the individual art to develop a place individually. Like and this is art because it's a singular, a singular composition. It's a singular composition. And out of this art comes the landscape. Out of this art comes produce. After this art comes the fertility. After the, of this art comes the economy of the people who live there. Because if you make a beautiful place and nobody comes and wants to work there, you lose. So out of this art, you have better animals. And if you live there and you give this place to your follower, it, is, it should be a better soil, a more beautiful landscape, a better animals who is more, more in relation to this special place and, a, and happy people who wait that they can help you to make this beautiful art. So that's why art and agriculture are more than two sisters, they are twins. So this is, this is the philosophy, another practice. You know, I must look how time I have. This is, uh, we start now different projects who try to develop art on agriculture farms. And from this point of view, it is not only just, oh, beautiful, all artists in the world come to me and make something and you stay and, and, and you, you know, you, you have some. So it is a question of the first thing is where I do this. What is the relation? What is the narrative of this landscape, of this individual place, of this farm individuality? And then you find, we try to find a method to read this special narrative of this place. For example, we have a little wali there on the farm, we, I am responsible. And in this valley, we saw that the landscape, also the geological structure, also uh, the trees they are there, also everything, it is, has a very special character. And this character, also, after a long discussion together with land space uh, specialists, with people who are a little bit uh, further on in this art of to read a landscape, this is in, in Baal, there was a professor, Lucius Burkhardt, he, he developed the science of promenade, the promenade science. It is, comes from jo Joseph Boyce. And it is not just you put some art things in the landscape because it's more beautiful than in a museum. It is something would have, we start to have a relation with this place where it is. And then you have, you find out, you can, you can find, find in a social project, you find out what is this special landscape. For example, in this valley, we found the narrative, this valley is picturesque. Picturesque is this special style that you have a, a from a three three um, flats, ebenen, yeah, three three levels, and in the first it is 
you have something a little bit in the dark, then you have the main motif, for example, in the sun, perhaps a house or thing, and behind you have the sky and the wood and so, and, and everywhere in this landscape, yeah, you look around, you can see like a picturesque picture. So that if we make art on this place, we try to develop in this picturesque narrative, uh, the landscape, the language of the place, the language of the place. So another place, for example, we had, we found the narrative Arcadia. This is a place where it is lost and it's wild and it's uh, very open to the sky. And you think you can, you can just uh, around the next, corner you find a, sh a shepherd or a, sh a, sh a shepherd women with 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 uh, with they are dancing between their <laughs> between their sheep and this is it needs another another agriculture and another another question of how i develop in this landscape instead of picturesque in picturesque, we for, for example, we plant special trees and not very near, but with like, like, like a photon, like a little bit, we have some like a curtains, you know, like the trees, we, we call it in, in German, Heine, you know, this is what was in Greece around the temple, there were so the, the olive Heine, where, where they dance. And this is a very, it's different to the open uh, landscape. It's also beautiful. So I just want to say to you, to the artists and to the farmers and to the consumers, that the future is to start a relation to plants, to start a relation to animals, to start relation to soil and to start a relation to yourself. And this is the new agriculture. And ecologist is a product of the things. Economic is a product. And this is my vision. And I want to put this vision on the end of this row. I would like to have questions if you like. Great, so we have a few minutes for questions to Martin. Martin, you really, you really brought us uh, home uh, with, with this wonderful conclusions. Um, and yeah, and you know, spoke, I, I really also love your lecture as a sort of, as a performative form with the blackboard, you know, your references obviously to the 1960s as well and, and, and voices teaching or, or what have you, but uh, so I would have a lot of to say here too. But um, are there any comments or questions from the audience? I know Johannes has one. Sure. So, you know, sometimes I work together with shaman people. Mm -hmm. For example, Galzan Chinak, perhaps you know him, he's uh, the, the, big, the chief of the Tuba, Mongols got near the Tibet, and he, he, uh, and he said, "If you interrupt a shaman, you kill him." Oh, really? Why that? If you interrupt a shaman, because he's in the song when we speak, and if you interrupt him, you kill him. And some of my speaks. People has no question in the end. <laughs> you know, we have. We, this we is the opposite to... of the shaman. No, they are, okay, we, we they are, have. Have it to... is quiet. We have, one, we have yes. one there. And also, I think these are challenges of the formats as well, you know, yes. digital and uh, the physical. But we have here one question, and um, it will be passed right here in front of the screen. I don't actually have a question. I'd like to say thank you very much uh, for your optimism um, and your kind of, uh, I mean, I, for, for bringing us back to earth, um, uh, uh, die Tangente berührt den Kreis in einem Punkt, 
um, is something uh, Karl Barth, funny enough, also mentioned as that sort of moment of enlightenment or this, this kind of, you know, this, this moment where, where we are actually part of a higher being as well. So, uh, so I kind of, uh, you know, I'd actually kind of think there is something to do with this sort of idea of a sort of sense of rootedness. Um, as of wo wir unser Wurzeln, uh, where we have our roots and how we can kind of reconnect or kind of maintain in the light of global industrial farming to um, kind of to insist or to re-insist on that connection to um, uh, culture in agriculture. So thank you very much for um, just kind of bringing that, you know, you're the last speaker. Um, and I think it was very, uh, very good for, for me, it was very good to hear you kind of being so optimistic in the light of um, uh, global industrial uh, farming conglomerates. Um, so let's hope that the movement on the smaller farmers will be able to sustain the pressures um, of global agricultural industry. Yeah, and that the, the artists go with a lot of sensitivity to the farmers. I think it's very important to be optimistic. You know why? It was, it was never so much bad in the world like today. That's why it's so easy to do something better. We live in the most beautiful time ever because it's so easy to do something better. This is a singular time of today. We don't have to we don't have to seek very long to do something better than how it is. So, ciao, Johannes. Ciao, ciao. Thank you so much, Martin. Uh, we um, we put you also on the end because uh, uh, we had much more, uh, let's say, um, uh, person positions or uh, um, also um, uh, proposition coming, let's say, from from the art, from uh, scientists. Uh, looking or going or, or um, um, researching agriculture or nature or ecology and now we kind of turn it back so so you are uh, also a farmer and and you you're looking at art or are you taking art in so that's one thing and the other thing is or my question would be partly you answered that already for for half the question so if you are we go or whatever, but you could say what has to be changed a in agriculture. So you probably answered that, but, but maybe you have a most more kind of solution or more, more uh, um, let's say uh, um, ideas about that. And secondly, what has to be changed um in art so a what you would uh, suggest or, or propose to change in agriculture b in art you know question. yeah it's still question you no know, i can tell you i think every question in the world has it, the answer is always to work together and you can learn this in in, uh, in in nature. You know, we have we have, for example, when you have a, a wood, you have five birds or ten birds birds who live in the wood, and you have about five different birds who live in the fields. And you have between the wood and the fields, you have a frontier. And in this frontier, if between the wood and the and the field starts to have a relation then it's ein Waldrand. And if this relation is open, that they make something new, you have between the wood and the field about 60 different birds. So the life is exploding there where something meet together. So in this point, one and one is more than two. It's two high three, for example. And this is on the on the river. This is on the in whole nature. You can see this. So the the most the most uh, effective square meter who makes protein in the world 
is in Wattenmeer. This is the place where you have six, six years sea and six years, six hours sea and six hours land. You understand? So if we want to be really efficient for to feed the world in agriculture, we need biodiversity in this room between. Room between. And you know, what's the room between? That, that is, we have the explosion of life. So every, every child in the world starts in a room between, between mother and father or father and father, or I don't know what. So this is, this is, this is one of the principles of life. So the room between art and, and agriculture, this, this could be a beautiful source of, of future. And there starts life. But also agriculture itself, it must be more room between. You know what is in, in Latin, room between? Room between calls interesse. Dazwischen sein, interesse, interest. Interest, this is a question of relation, to have interest on each other, not, not to, to make power, to be open. So this is, this, I think this is what we have to learn. And everyone on his place and everyone with his thing. So you don't come as an artist on a farm and you make something you shit out of your brain. You must co go come in with a relation to the place you do something. And then you, you, you make steps to the place where, where the farmer and uh, where is the German, uh, the, 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 the female word for farmer? Uh, female farmer. Yes, female <laughs> farmer. So, for, you know, the, the female and, the male, <laughs> and the, the male farmer lives because the farmer is the artist from the place. And if you come together with the artist, with his ideas, for example, the ideas, I want to show some thinkings, I want to show the, the, the Spannung, I want to show tension. Yeah, the tension between uh, technique and nature or, or something. It, it is a different solution where you do it on this farm or on this farm perhaps. So they work together and they, they develop a, a, a individual point. And so we, the, 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 the world will be more beautiful because more diverse and it will also be a better agriculture. So this is my wish. I can make it very concrete, but this is the philosophical base. Concrete is concrete. We do it. We work so it's about it's collaboration, dialogue, and, and learning from each other and listening to each other. And uh, yes. Yes, it's okay. always this was what we what we call a social a social monument or a social plastic. You know, this is boys. Every people, every every man, every human being is an artist. But not self-demanded in a process. You're not an artist if you say you I am an artist. <laughs> you are not a farmer if you say I'm a farmer. This was so special when I when I when I when I go from to be teacher, to be farmer. When I was a teacher, when I think on the lesson I give tomorrow, I'm, it was already half done. When I was a farmer and I think on making hay, it was not done. I have to bring every, every, every little plant on the stock. I have to bring it there. I can think how long I want. There's not one plant goes in the stock itself. I have to bring it there. So it's not the same, yes. Yeah. Is there another question from the audience? Yes, there is one. Thank you. Martin, I just I just want to follow up on this um, on this idea, you know, of of knowledge, perhaps preservation. How um, what you know is being passed on to future generations. Perhaps art plays a role there. Um, yeah, is there any kind of, um, you know, particular way in which you, you, you think um, knowledge can be preserved of agriculture or perhaps of art making? Because you very beautifully brought, you know, um, 
the making of agriculture, of being the accent in this field. Um, um, you brought it to art, being an, an, a, yeah, a, a, a farmer is being an artist, right? So you're an artist and others are coming in as artists. And I wonder whether through this or, or on this intersection, you know, there is some fruitful space in which knowledge that you create already can be passed on and how? I'm not sure if I understand. Yeah. I'm not sure if I understand, but you ask me, is there some, the question goes a little bit how I understand in this direction, there are, is a long art, uh, a, 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 a long art tradition in agriculture. And how we we handle with this tradition stream of and how you pass yes and how you so to and say how we make this it on huh? to next and, generation yes how we go how we go with this in future mm -hmm. huh? yes it is very 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 interesting it's a very interesting question because I just recognize that the human being had long the tradition that that they make the things beautiful. And since we have a lot of technique, we don't do the thing beautiful anymore. And you, we can discuss a long, a long um, for one, one year, what is beautiful. Eh? But, but I recognize beautiful, for example, beautiful landscape is where people go to walk or nobody goes to walk, it's not very beautiful. Where people feel they go so to walk. So when I, when I start to have this farm here in Rheinau, 160 hectares, there was no people in the fields. There was no people on the way. And when we come there and we make hedges, we make plays, we make different plants, we make things, they come the people with the cars to, to have their freedom time there. There, there, are, there are women, they come with, with seven dogs <laughs> and hunt my mouses. <laughs> and, and, and they come with a car and come to my place because it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I don't know, because it's more diverse. And so we, we need to question how we can make beautiful because, because farming is always building landscape. And it would be very artificial if we say, okay, we make farming. This is 100 hectare of mice. Nobody wants to see it. It's dead. Nobody wants to live there. Nobody wants to take his tent there. Nobody wants to fall in love there. Nobody wants to, I don't know what, you know. And, uh, and, uh, and, and then we make a place on the farm where, where we make biodiversity. No, I think the existence of the human being must develop the art to feed the world in beautiness and to take from a place and by taking it, develop it. He does it, develop it, but the question is in which direction, you understand? And when we, for example, make mice very cheap, and we destroy the landscape. We sell, we sell in the cheap price of the mice, the landscape. And someone have to take it back one day again. So this is the question also from the price. And this is the question. And we can, I think this will never be, this will never be made by governments. This will never be made by systems. The systems and the governments can stop it, but they cannot develop it. They can, they can stand in a way, but they cannot develop it. They can also not afford it, and they cannot befehl it. They cannot uh, command it, because this cannot, you, you cannot command. You cannot command art. Art happens. So it's unpredictable and it's a wonderful note. Uh, it's the individual, it's, it's the individual societies from the humanity, 
from the people who work together, who work together and help each other to develop in 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 the in the in the in the with the uh, yeah with the growth. I I call it the Lennon McCartney effect. Do you know Lennon and McCartney? John Lennon and Paul you McCartney. Can unpack it for us. Yes, John Lennon and Paul McCartney. John Lennon is a is a beautiful musician, but he's a little bit sarcastic, and he has a problem with his mother and so on, and he's a little bit sarcastic, and he, he he's a little bit in in a in a bad mood with the world. So so, and Paul McCartney was a very soft family from uh, Liverpool bourgeoisie, and he's uh, he, and, and and every one of these men makes about ten songs who are in the world but together lennon mccartney they make in seven years 400 songs you know this is a room between 400 songs who will also in 200 years change some consciousness i'm sure who hear it and and move the people so that means when you lay Lennon and McCarthy together, you get one and one is two. But real is one. Lennon and McCarthy is 2.9. High nine. You understand? <laughs> and this effect will change the world. And when we, are, when we are in my generation, we saw this, that the group can make music. We take the guitar and go, go in the rooms and try it. And hope to have to to have it too. And someone it happens, and someone not. That's life. Mm -hmm. It happens, but it needs the circumstances of open source and mm -hmm. of of relation will and to lose your own narratives to understand and and to have communication. Communication is not. Just, oh, you uh, I love you. Communication is, this is my point, this is your point. Where we find us together. Wonderful, Martin. I think that's, that's, that's the most uh, concluding word I, uh, I we, we could have. And basically, we're just continuing the spirit in the next couple of days here, you know, working on the intersection in this kind of open space of possibilities and trying to learn from each other or learning from each other already. And we very much hope to stay in touch with you um, also in the future. Uh, we have different links also through Johannes. Uh, but most of all, Please join me in thanking Martin for this contribution. Thank you very much. Hope to see you one time. See you very soon. <laughs>